All right, Pisces, you are up. Welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to be doing the Twin Flame journey reading for you for the next seven days to take a look at a situation that you have with somebody in your life, right? A connection, a soulmate connection uh, with someone in your life. We're going to take a look and see where you're at, where they're at, how you guys see each other, how you feel about the relationship. Magician just popping out everywhere today. I, I believe that the magician has shown up for almost all of the readings today. And I, this is the sixth reading I've done today. So let's just see, Pisces, where you are at. Next seven days in love. We're going to look at your cards and your person's cards. And then we're going to pull clarifiers. All right, guys. So let's get right into it. Show me Pisces. Two of Wands is falling out. Let's see what happens. Show me Pisces. Pisces, you're coming out as an Ace of Wands. You see your person as the Three of Pentacles. You desire the Fool and what needs to happen is the Queen of Wands. Your person is coming out as the Knight of Cups. They see you as the Ten of Cups. They desire the Six of Swords and what needs to happen is the Hierophant. Bottom of the deck, you have the Devil. So the Devil in the Tarot is very different to sort of your, you know, uh, Christian Judeo idea of what the Devil is. Um, or rather Christian idea of what the devil is. Uh, the devil is associated with the sign of Capricorn. Okay, some of you may be dealing with the Capricorn Pisces. Uh, and some of you may be dealing with a Taurus here, a fan is there. But the devil really talks about creativity. The devil is the card for our carnal passion, our desire, right? But it is our desire that spurs our creativity. So our desire to want things, our need, it is our physical self in this world tangibly and yes that is then also associated with uh, things like sex drugs alcohol addictions but this is all part and parcel of the creative body that we are and so in this case here we're talking about high creativity and high level of sexuality right there may be a strong degree of sexual attraction here there may be other issues i'll come back to the devil so we have some nice cards here, Pisces. This is looking good. How are you feeling coming into the into the week of your person? You have an Ace of Wands. Your person has a Knight of Cups. So you are on fire, turned on. Ace of Wands is the great phallic symbol. So right now you are highly charged, whether it is for a new creative project or whether it is to do with this new love connection, you are turned on and on fire and ready to go. This is a potential start of something highly creative for you. And so you're feeling it this week. Page of, uh, Knight of Cups is how your person is coming in. So they're coming in wanting to put words to their love. They're wanting to show you how they feel about you, talk to you, express their love with you. They want to come towards you, right? Knight of, knights are all about actuation. It's the air of that suit. So th they're, they're wanting to initiate, actuate, and begin the, the courtship, right? Begin the... Um, the, the sweeping you off your feet, right? Begin the exchange. Now, knights do come and go, and the Knight of Cups is not necessarily the most uh, committed knight in the deck, but he is the one who is willing to make that effort to make the connection. How do you see each other? Well, you see them as a Three of Pentacles. They see you as a Ten of Cups. They clearly love you. They see you as a completion to what they want and love in their life, right? The ultimate, the complete, the whole package. Um, and so they see this in you over the next seven days. And I feel like your person is feeling extremely romantic this week with you. They love you. They have their eye on you, right? They're enamored. And this is how they see you, right? You see them as a three of pentacles. So this is interesting. You may have worked with them. Uh, you see them as someone who uh, you may be doing artistic work with them. You may be on a project with them, right? And yes, this makes sense to me because you have that ace of wands. So something is making you feel very passionate. It can translate into a love connection and a high degree of sexual tension and charge and a love connection. But it seems to me here, the way you're seeing them, that this may be a new love coming in that you've met during the course of your work or your creative endeavors, and they're the ones who are falling head over heels for you 
you are already excited about the work that you guys are doing together, right? Um, so you may not have necessarily acknowledged any love for them just yet, but nevertheless, you are experiencing the other side of it, which is the passion, the attraction, um, the fire, right? But it feels to me like you're the one who is being pursued. You're the one who, uh, you know, and yes, the tension is there, but the love aspect of pursuing you, the romantic aspect is coming into you, Pisces. Now, it can always be vice versa, and that depends on the individual, so take it as you will. Now, what do you guys both desire in this relationship? Well, for you and for them, it's interesting. For you, you desire really to have a new adventure. You're desiring something new. You're desiring to be able to sort of let go, take a leap of faith, and really dive into a whole new experience, right? You want to be young again. You want to be fresh again, the fool in love. I think for you, you're wanting, you're wanting that for sure in this connection something about this connection and it can be that because they're coming in through your work uh and especially creative pisces uh for you you love it it's like everything that you you want right you love the fact that you share something so creative with them like your passion and your art and at the same time you're willing to take this new adventure they what do they desire in this relationship six of swords interesting here, I feel like they desire to get away from all of the strife and the stress of the big city. They may be wanting to take you away, right? They may be wanting to travel with you. They may be wanting to get out of the usual uh, environment that you're with with them. You know, they see you, you know, you're traveling with them on this boat, right? Um, so they see you very much as like, uh, I want to say they want to see in this relationship what they desire the most is peace and harmony, but they want to be with you somewhere and they want to also go away. So it can be that part of what they're desiring apart from you is to get away from whatever is behind them, um, whatever they've been experiencing before they got together with you or met you. It could be that they may there may be a feeling, I feel a little bit of a running away here, a little bit. Um, and of course, meeting you and falling for you and wanting you, they're putting a lot of energy into it. But this, this energy, this Six of Swords of wanting to sort of move away from strife and arguing and bickering and sort of power struggle, I believe part of this energy was, of course, already there before this started. Nevertheless, they want that in this relationship. What needs to happen? Well, for you, Queen of Wands, for them here, fact. Queen of Wands is wise, so remember who you're dealing with. Okay, this is not a sure thing. A lot of the love is coming from, a lot of the love right away is coming from their side. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups, right? But if it's a new, if it's a new connection, then this is quite heavy energy to come in for something new. Trust your, trust your wise counsel. For you, what needs to happen is Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands is the teacher. She's the wise one. She is the one that you go to when you need help making sort of, odds and ends of your experience right but she's also the one who's been through so much that she very much trusts her she trusts her gut she trusts her wisdom she trusts her experience she knows so many things and she's very strong so be strong right now uh this relationship is not necessarily played out to where it should be and i do sense a little bit of i want to say something going on beneath the surface in the personality type that you're dealing with here. What needs to happen for them is Hierophant. And Hierophant is remaining true to their morals, their sort of upbringing, what they consider status quo, what they consider to be their sort of principle, right? What is their litmus test for what is right and wrong? Uh, it's interesting because Hierophant can also indicate a desire for things to be done a proper way. Uh, for, you know, for marriage, right? If you're going to get together, you're going to get married. For it to be done in the eyes of the God that you or gods you believe in, right? Uh, here, fan can sometimes come in when you're trying to bring order to a situation that is unorthodox, right? Maybe a relationship that is unorthodox. And so uh, you're wanting to bring some kind of more form to it, more sort of structure to it that's more orthodox. Um, it's interesting that this will come out for your person. It could be that you're dealing with somebody who has a very strong faith and they also need to be sure that whatever they get into is right with their faith, right? Um, 
Let's get some clarity. Yeah, it's interesting. I feel a little bit like you might be dealing with somebody who they may want you, right? They may, for them, it has to be a certain way with that hero fan. So you may not be agreeable to that. Like, it could just be a case of it turns out that, you know, you're a Christian, they're a Jew, and you have to be a Jew, or you have to do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, you have to convert, or it's, it's you know, there's a feeling here that there may be something they desire from you uh, in order for this to happen, because the hero fan has come out, and also because this feels like a new connection to me, and yet this Ten of Cups is coming out strong, so sometimes such a strong love card right away can feel a little bit... Um, pie in the sky, obsessive maybe. I almost feel like Seven of Cups could have come out, but that's nevertheless how they're feeling. That's how they're seeing you. But there is some work that needs to be done here. Show me some clarity on this Pisces reading, please. Okay. Temperance, yeah, temperance. Emperor, wow. Ten of Wands, Burden, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, be careful. Temperance is coming in. Be careful with your feelings and tempered, right? Don't get caught up in the outside. You know, don't get caught up in what people are doing around you. I do feel a lot of emotionality here. Remember, the Knight of Cups is willing to come and sweep you off your feet, but he is not all that committed as much as he says. Emperor comes in, so there is a, there is a, I want to say a power struggle, not struggle, but a need for dominance and power here. Uh, a need for stability. Emperor comes in, right? To remind you of a certain kind of stability that is required and power. Um, I'm going to say how you see each other. It can be that they see you as an emperor in your field. You may be somebody who's already a leader in your field, who already has a lot, right? Uh, a lot of clout, status, etc. You've already proven yourself to be a dominant uh, force and whatever in the field of work that you do. It can be that they see you like this and that is impacting their desire to be close to you. But also I want to say that um, stability is important here. Right? And, and there is somewhere along the line how you see each other there is some kind of issue to do with divine sort of really strong masculine energy. Somebody wanting to be more in control than the other. That may pop out. Ten of Wands is coming in an Ace of Pentacles. So Ten of Wands over what you guys desire. Uh, there is a carrying of burdens here. So again, I feel like your person is wanting to kind of shed some of these bag some of this baggage, burden, hang-ups that they've been carrying around. And they want to do it by leaving, right? They want to do it by turning their back on maybe what has caused some of this. But again, um, this Ten of Wands to me feels you know, it feels again like this is something baggage, baggage they're bringing in, right? And so they're you, they may be seeing this relationship as a way to come out from under this. Ten and ten is completion. You have two tens here. Um, I don't feel it from your from your side, Pisces. I feel you strong in that wand, strong in that in that energy and that fool and that queen of wands at the end. So. Yeah, it's interesting. I feel like, again, you know, this is this is love, and this is love here from their side. They see a Ten of Cups, but again, just because they see it, they are bringing some baggage to this relationship. Ace of Pentacles, there is an opportunity coming in, okay? So along with this Ace of Wands, in the work that you do, there is also a strong potential uh, new opportunity coming in that's really going to affect the outcome of this in any case, okay? Depending on how this comes in. All right, and again, it goes back to Emperor. Who's the leader? Who's in charge? Who's going to make the most of this opportunity? I think there may be a little bit of a power play that comes out, or you may begin to see a little bit of a power play with this individual. Nevertheless, um, you know, I'm not feeling huge love from you. It's like this love is really hard and fast, straight to a 10 from then. So it feels a little obsessive, feels a little bit compulsive, uh, slave to passion. Devil energy can show the shadow, can bring the shadow side in of certain cards also. Sometimes when the devil shows up in a reading, it can mean there's a shadow element here. And again, temperance is what is called for. All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you so much for checking out your Twin Flame Journey reading for the week. I hope you enjoyed it and you got something out of it, some clarity. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. But for right now, guys, have a wonderful week. I love you, and I'll see you in your next reading. Bye-bye now.